What is going on guys? Noah here with Custom RC Mods. Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, I've got another OpenTX tutorial video for you guys. Today, I've got the model setup for an Elevon Mix airplane, such as this ready-made RC Mini Recruit right here. As you can see, we got a little bit of front-end damage up there, um, but all my systems are fully functional, our servos and the motor. And speaking of the motor, I went ahead and removed my prop, obviously for safety reasons, and I recommend you do the same. If it's worth spending all this time to go ahead and uh, set up a model, it's worth doing it safely for sure. You're also going to need your flight battery to go ahead and get this thing all bound up and uh, test out your control surfaces as they come. Um, for the OpenTX radio here, we've got the RadioMaster TX16S, but the interface will be nearly identical if you're using a Jumper T16 or T18 system, as well as um, any other full-color OpenTX system, um, or if you're using a Trenix X9D or QX7 or any of those um, models with the LCD screen, you're going to have a very uh, similar uh, model setup experience here. So first things first, let's go ahead and turn on the RadioMaster uh, TX16S here. Um, and we're going to go ahead and start off first by setting up a brand new model and that can be done by holding down the jog wheel. We're going to go into the model select interface and then you can go ahead and just hold down the jog wheel once again until we get to create model right here. And we're going to go ahead and set up our Elevon mix right here right now. Um, so we got to go ahead and go into plane um, right here. And then for the motor, obviously the motor is on channel 3. The original um, channel mapping for this radio right here is AETR Elevon or Elevator, um, Aileron Elevator Throttle Rudder, um, just like that. So channel 3 is perfect for um, throttle there. And then, of course, we have our ailerons. And this is kind of where we start to get into things you want to pay attention now. Um, we got channel 1 and channel 2. On my specific model right here, we have it plugged into um, the aileron and the elevator port on the DSM 11RX receiver over there. So that's going to be A and E, which is channel 1 and 2 on this channel mapping um, protocol right here. So we're going to go ahead and do channel 1 and channel 2 just like so. And then we can go ahead and page um, over to past flaps. Of course, we don't have to worry about that. And this is where you really want to lock in. And this is the nuts and bolts right here of how to set up an Elevon mix. We're going to go ahead and select uh, two channels, one for elevator and then one channel for rudder. So you can see we've got both A and C right there, which are controlling our elevator and then one channel for rudder, which obviously this plane doesn't have a rudder. However, we need to tell OpenTX that it does on channel four and nothing is plugged into channel four. So we don't really need to worry about that anyways. So yeah, channel one is going to be on, uh, or channel two is going to be on A right here. And then uh, we can go ahead and switch back to channel one right there on C. And channel four is obviously our rudder, A-E-T-R. Um, so we don't really need to worry about that as well. And then we can go ahead and page over and confirm that we've got everything all um, perfect. And then press return and we are good to go. All right, guys. So now we've got the wizard all taken care of. The next thing that we're going to focus our attention to is the model setup window. So we're going to hold down the model key just like so. And just to confirm that we've got our mix set up properly, you can see that we've got elevator and aileron mixed together on channels one and channel two, just like that. So that is all good and proper. We're gonna go ahead and back out over to the model setup, which is the first little window, just like so. This is where you can go ahead and name your model like that, and you can select an image, you can set up timers, but we're gonna do all that a little bit later just for the sake of time. And we're gonna scroll up to our internal RF right here. Um, and I'm gonna select a multi, so just scroll over one, and obviously you're gonna get to multi, and then you can select that again. And we're gonna select our protocol. Like I said, we're running a Lemon RX, a DSMX, receiver over there so I can go ahead and scroll back to DSM is in alphabetical order of course and we're going to get a little ID warning because I'm using the same protocol in other airplanes um, and then we can go ahead and scroll over to our DSMX so we're going to do DSMX 22 milliseconds since we're running analog servos of course um, and there we are just like that you can see our protocols all set up DSMX 22 milliseconds and that's all good and proper so now we're going to go ahead and focus over um, our attention over to the plane you can see that we've got the bind plug installed in the receiver here and we're going to go ahead and take our battery and plug it into the esc like so and our bind mode is signified of course by the flashing led so now we can scroll down to our little bind button here and now we are in bind mode signified by the siren of course as well and of course we've got a flashing light that's going to turn solid here in a second and as you can see, just like that, we've got our Elevons all set up just how we want them. That's perfect. You can see that our um, surfaces come up to meet the stick just like so. 
And this is wonderful. It's, I mean, it's fairly easy to do. You just gotta go ahead and set up dual elevators in your setup wizard and you are good to go. If you guys are looking for a more manual uh, mix solution, you can go ahead and take a little screenshot of this right here and set up the mix just like that. Um, but I think it's a lot easier personally to go ahead and use that little setup wizard. Um, it does a lot of that mixing for you um, and it makes everything a lot easier in the long run. All right, guys, the last thing I want to address in this video is how to reverse your surfaces if necessary to get the proper Elevon control so the plane will fly correctly. Of course, as you saw, mine came out correctly. We've got our ailerons and our elevator respectively like that. However, if yours didn't, we can go back into the model setup window and we can page over to our outputs tab, which is the icon that looks like that. And we're going to be obviously adjusting channels one and channel two, uh, the first two just like that. We can go ahead and select channel one and we can go over here to this little arrow a column right there and reverse uh, the direction so that we get the desired up and down movement um, in our elevons. And this is definitely something that is super nice with OpenTX is that it's super easy just to go ahead and adjust it um, because if you have your ailerons controlling your elevator um, or things are backwards and things like that, this is all you really have to do in order to get things proper with, again, a mix of your direction um, changing um, and reversing just like that. And then you should be pretty much good to go. If you need to do any additional work on there, all you really have to do is just go ahead and swap out your inputs so your stick uh, commands between your elevator and your ailerons just like that and all you have to do there is just go ahead and edit your input command um, and then instead of ailerons you can switch that over to elevator um, just like so but that's all there is to it guys that's all it takes to go ahead and program a wing into your OpenTX radio system and it's fairly simple overall um, I got the hang of it pretty darn quickly after doing uh, all five of my wings so we are really in good shape now um, yeah so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed it if you did please smash the like button subscribe to the channel and go ahead and request another video if you guys have any more questions about OpenTX. with that said i'm out guys thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video